Welcome back everybody to the Vanishing of Ethan Carter walkthrough tutorial guide. We're picking up right where we left off with the uh, astronaut puzzle. This one is going to be the next puzzle that you come to. And if I've overlooked anything, please let me know in the comments. I'm, I've searched every area in my initial playthrough of the game to make sure that I didn't, but it's always possible. The next area we're going to go to is we're going to come back to the railroad tracks right from where the little playhouse was over there and we're just going to follow them to the uh, to the town and there's a good view from up here on the dam of uh, some houses that's apparently the gatehouse for the dam and that house there built on the cliff side is where we're, our next puzzle is going to be it's the Vandergriff house I'm there Okay, so there are two ways to tackle this next puzzle. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what it is. It is this house, and it is a door puzzle. Okay, when you first enter the house, there'll be a piece of literature here that kind of explains what the puzzle is and what the point of it is. I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds, hear me. Okay, once you've read the puzzle, you're ready to begin. You do that by simply walking through the blue door. And now every doorway is displayed with a blue glow, which when you approach, has an option to swap what you're walking into. So you will select the interior of the next room, and if you do this in the wrong order, it spits you back out at the start. You have to read the thing again to restart the puzzle. So we'll, we'll go ahead and get started here from the very beginning. After you, you walked through the first blue door that you couldn't select, you go left. This is the dining area. It would look like this with the dining room table. And that's the only door into that one. We'll go ahead and go upstairs. I mean, common sense here, by looking out the window, you can see that it shouldn't be the, this room. That one would actually be looking in from this one. So it's not going to be that. That's from downstairs. This is the third option, and this is the correct option. So from the top of the first stair landing, your window would look like this. Uh, three windows visible, a beam on the floor. We're going to go and walk in. The next doorway will be this one. It has the small end table on it and a couple boarded up windows. And your next doorway will be putting you back at the stairs. And it has a little drawing on the wall there and you can always you know, as you make rooms that come back to each other, you can go back and look and see, yeah. So this is making a circle, and we want that symbol on the wall there. It is correct. Walking through it and placing it. Again, this would actually be the view from this room, so we know it's not that. We are not at a location. I don't think this is the right one for here. It's definitely not that one. It may be this one. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and place this one. So, on the same floor, by the second landing, it will have a small ramp going up into a long hallway. This one will be the bedroom. I don't think there's anything interesting in here. I 
And this one, again, that's the view from the lower level. So we know it's not that. That's the view from the side of the stairs we were at before. It has to be this one. Voila. We're placing them. Okay. We'll head on up to the attic. Went the wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And this one will look like the rest of the attic does. And it has a desk. I'm making sure I'm not... There's no desk over here, is there? No. Okay. So the one in the upper portion of the attic will look like an attic, and it has a desk at the end of it. We're almost done. We need to return to the ground floor. This is where they get a little bit more tricky because the uh, areas are not quite as familiar looking. You do have to solve all of these in order to unlock the piece. This one, again we're back at the start, is going to have a small stairway and a broken beam coming down across it at an angle. This one will have... That's from the attic. That's from upstairs with the windows, obviously. So this one's going to be the one that has the beam falling down with the spider web in the top left-hand corner of it. Step inside to place it. I think this is, might be the last one or second to last one. It's not that. It's the... Oh, goodness. I'm hoping... I'm trying to remember correctly. This one is going to be the... I'm pretty sure it's this one with the table in it. And again, we've already unlocked most of the house, so if you wanted to do a quick run back and look at the table, there's, yeah, it's a different table. That's it. Confident, this is my final answer. Bam. And once you've unlocked them all, you have gotten yourself access to the secret room, which looks like this. Looks like birds hanging from the ceiling. And a fetus and a face. Let's go ahead and step in. And then enjoy your newfound puzzles or your newfound information. God dang, that thing is creepy. So was that. Okay, let's read it. This is the actual story that he had written. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him. But the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. But the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. He was protected by his spell. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Okay, and again, we're back to the reality aspect of it. That's the story. And then again, you'll have another piece of uh, literature over here on the floor. Blaze reveals moonshine operation. Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to authorities, the still comprised a propane stove and four-gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Schaefel believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine, mm, that sounds delicious, and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. 
The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. Sheriff Schaefel said a cigarette butt tossed at the scene likely caused the fire. And on the back of it, uh, NASA launches ATS-6 satellite. Cape Canaveral, Florida, NASA launched what has been called the world's first educational satellite in Florida today, giving the United States a powerful edge in telecommunication technology. The Applications Technology Satellite 6 will directly broadcast educational programming to several countries, including the United States, Canada, India, and Australia. NASA believes the satellite will remain in constant contact with Earth for at least the next five years. And we are, this was the moonshine still. I wish you still worked. <laughs> uh, where did it spit us out at? So one thing you'll notice once we've completed that, and this is what I was referencing to at the beginning of the video, it spits you out into a room and none of these rooms are what we saw or what we placed. That's because that what you were figuring out wasn't actually this house. It was that house. So the other way that I was referencing, of course, would have been to have just gone to that house first and look at how the rooms are laid out and then put this house in that order. <laughs> so there, there really isn't... I don't think there's anything else of interest in this particular uh, location. So feel free to look around. Make sure that I didn't miss anything, that you didn't miss anything. Um, but that's... That's the Vandergriff house, and those are the, the door puzzles. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next part of the video. Bye.